Thanks. Thanks a lot. This mass, <clears throat> this mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Emilio Rijos. He fed them with the finest wheat and satisfied them with honey from the rock. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent here the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament has left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of De Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how for forty years now the Lord your God has directed all your journey in the desert so as to test you by affliction and find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore let you be afflicted with hunger and then fed you with manna, a food unknown to you and your fathers, in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. 
Do not forget the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery, who guided you through the vast, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert, with its seraph serpents and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock, and fed you in the desert with manna, a food unknown to your fathers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Responsorial Psalm, Praise the Lord Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has granted peace in your borders. With the, blessed, uh, with the best of wheat, he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. Praise the, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for other nations. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. The second reading is from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body. For we are all partakers, we all partake of the one loaf. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The sequence. Lo, the angel's food is given to the pilgrim who has striven. See the children's bread from heaven, which on dogs may not be spent. Truth the ancient types fulfilling, Isaac bound a victim willing, Paschal lamb its lifeblood spilling, manna to the father sent. Very bread, good shepherd, tend us. Jesu of your love, befriend us. You refresh us, you defend us. Your eternal goodness send us in the land of life to see. You who all things can and know, who on earth such food bestow, grant us with your saints though lowest, where the heavenly feast you show, fellow heirs and guests to be, amen, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. <clears throat> Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, unlike your ancestors who ate and still died. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There's an old saying that Absence makes the heart grow fonder. The idea that when we miss someone, um, we uh, eventually, obviously, uh, are animated in our heart. Our feelings toward them are actually strengthened because we recognize w the value of the person we miss. It's certainly to be hoped that uh, that would, will be one of the fruits of this long period of absence when it comes to the gift we celebrate today, 
which is the gift of the Holy Eucharist, because we, feast, we celebrate today the Feast of Corpus Christi, the body and blood of Christ. And this has been a long trial of absence uh, as far as receiving communion goes, but it seems to be obviously coming to an end at last. And uh, hopefully as we think about these readings, it will stir up in our heart that fondness uh, you know, that fondness for a devotion for Jesus and the Blessed Sacrament. The Gospel from the sixth chapter of John gives us the clearest testimony about this teaching that we find in Scripture. Jesus makes no bones about the fact that he's calling for belief in something that goes beyond our capacity to understand. And because of that, when we read on in the Gospel of John past today's reading, we see that many people walk away from him. Of course, the interesting thing is that he could have had that, the opportunity at that point of softening his, teach, his teaching and speaking uh, you know, about a symbol that rather than the reality of his presence in the Eucharist. But he didn't. He just insisted more that it is truly his body and blood that we receive in communion. So it's a difficulty, obviously, in possibility for those who want to refer to the Eucharist as symbolic um, to dodge that, uh, what really happened in this gospel. Jesus proclaimed the reality of his presence in, in Holy Communion we signify our belief when we come to receive and say amen. Amen doesn't certainly mean I understand. It just means I believe. I believe that I'm going to receive Jesus uh, in his, under the, the appearance of bread and wine, but really him, not a symbol. One of the reactions or the important reaction that we're meant to have toward this great mystery is gratitude. That's the emotion that Moses tries to stir up among, among, the, up among the people in the first reading. When he speaks of manna, of course, he's speaking of food produced mir miraculously, but not miraculous food. It was something that sustained the chosen people physically in their journey through the desert but it was an anticipation of foreshadowing of the mysterious food, the miraculous food that we receive in communion. And it is also, the Holy Eucharist is food for our journey from the time we received our first communion all through life until the end. I've had the inspiring experience of giving people Holy Communion really as viaticum, right close to the end. What a great gift that is to be able to receive in the last moments of one's life, uh, to be you know, really open to the, door, the door to eternity that way. It's usually, I mean, it is the fruit of a life lived in close proximity to the Eucharist, that, that uh, somebody journeys along the way with Jesus and the Eucharist, and they, f they follow him into eternity, receiving the uh, Holy Communion. But that's something, obviously, to be grateful for and a grace to be prayed for that remain close to the Eucharist all through our journey to the end. The second reading is very brief, but it points out to us a very important reality, especially in the times in which we live. Because a loaf is one, we though many are one body, for we all partake of the one loaf. It's another great mystery of the Eucharist. Everyone receives the host individually, but everyone receives the one Jesus. That brings about unity in the body of Christ. And we are to uh, petition for that unity and reflect that unity. Really a vocation in such times as of disharmony violence, hatred in which we're living in in our country at this time. Great vocation for us emphasized in all the readings of today's Mass 
to believe in Jesus and the Eucharist, to be grateful for his gift um, of the Holy Eucharist, and to understand we are united to other members of the body of Christ through the Eucharist. We're meant to reflect that unity and love uh, to the whole world. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Knowing God's great love for all of us, we can confidently bring our needs before him. For Pope Francis, our bishop, priests, and all who, for Pope Francis Cardinal Dolan, priests, and all who serve the church, may the Lord strengthen them in their mission of bringing the light of Christ to a weary world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our civic leaders and all who help form formulate public policy, may the Holy Spirit guide them in all that they do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people in war-torn countries, may God bring them peace and security. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have completed their pilgrimage on earth, may they find eternal joy in their heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. We, miss, we mention especially Emilio Rijos. We, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for peace and harmony among the peoples of our country, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, hear the prayers of your people and respond with mercy and compassion. We ask this through your Son and our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
the mysteries of water mind may come to share in the divinity of Christ, and himself to share in humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the earth, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart may be accepted by you, Lord, and may I sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing toward our God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery in the offerings we here present. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For at the last supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come, the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise, nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery. You make them holy so that the human race, bounded by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrament so that bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the, ben, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy, these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will, be, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, 
for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognize the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Timothy our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, <clears throat> At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, we, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. May this mingling in the body and blood of, Lord Jesus, uh, and body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ be eternal life to us and receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for you, protection of mind and body, and healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him, says the Lord. What has passed up says food, the Lord may be possessed in purity of heart, that it has been given to us in time. Maybe, maybe a healing, <laughs> maybe a healing for eternity. An act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. As I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you are already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I shall ever be separated from you. Amen. Prayer to the Virgin Mary for protection. O Mary, you shine continually shine continuously on our journey as a sign of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick. At the foot of the cross, you participate in Jesus' pain with steadfast faith. You are a lady of New York, know what we need. We are certain that you will provide so that as you did at Cana of Galilee, joy and feasting might return after this moment of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the Father's will and to do what Jesus tells us. He who took our sufferings upon himself and bore our sorrows to bring us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. We seek refuge under your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our pleas, we who are put to the test. <clears throat> we, we, who are, we who are put to the test and deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that we may delight for all eternity in that share of your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by a reception of your precious body and blood, 
who live and reign forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who roam about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. <laughs>